Hello, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I will be showing you how to install balance gears into your Kohler K-Series engine. Before you reinstall the balance gears back into your Kohler K-Series engine, you want to first inspect the gear itself for any damage or unusual wear. This is made out of cast iron, so you want to make sure there are no cracks uh, anywhere on the gear itself. If the gear checks out, next you want to look at the needle bearings inside. You want to make sure that all of the bearings are there. There are no score marks, no pits, or no uh, rust on the rollers. If there is uh, rust or pits on the bearings themselves, you want to replace them. The bearings in these particular uh, balance gears look good, so we're going to reuse them. Now let's talk about the marks on the balance gears. Uh, there is a big dot on the balance gear, that's the secondary timing mark. There's a little notch cut out on kind of the inner uh, circumference of the balance gear, that's the primary timing mark. There's a little line cut out in the crankshaft that's close to the gears on the crankshaft, that is the primary timing mark of the crankshaft. And then there's another mark kind of uh, more on the inside of that counterweight of the crankshaft, and that is the secondary timing mark. There is also a little dot on the camshaft, and that's the camshaft primary timing mark. The following demonstration is for installing the new style balance gears in your Kohler K-Series engine. You can tell if your balance gears are the old style or new style by checking out this illustration. First, I'm going to mark the tooth that is right next to the primary timing mark on the crankshaft. Now, beginning with the tooth that is marked red, I'm going to count 12 teeth in a counterclockwise direction and mark the 12th tooth with a different color sharpie. I'm coloring the entire tooth, the front, top, and rear of it, so I can clearly see the tooth once the crankshaft goes back into the engine. Next, I need to mark the upper balance gear. I mark the upper balance gear first by finding the land directly in front of the dot on the balance gear. Then I'm going to count seven lands in a clockwise direction and mark that seventh land. The lands are the low spots in between each of the gear teeth. To begin installation of the balance gears, first lubricate the stub shafts with regular motor oil. Then we're going to add the spacer, the appropriate shim, and then the balance gear, and then another appropriate shim, and then finally the retaining clip. After you install this, you want to use a feeler gauge and measure the end play of the gear. The end play of the gear should be between two thousandths and ten thousandths of an inch. If the clearance is not between that range, you can add or remove shims that are five thousandths of an inch thick to get the correct end play. Now this is where it gets a little tricky to capture this on camera. First we want to lubricate the bearing surface of the crankshaft before we install it into this engine. After we do that, we want to push the crankshaft in so the twelfth tooth that we marked on the crankshaft gear with the black sharpie lines up with that seventh land that we marked on the upper balance gear. Now this engine is in our engine stand, so everything is kind of upside down. The upper balance gear in uh, this video is the one, l the lower stub shaft. When this engine is turned back right side up, it will be the higher uh, balance gear. After I line that 12th tooth and the 7th land up, I'm going to gently tap the crankshaft into the gear so it just barely starts to mesh. I then look and confirm that my black sharpie line is lined up with that silver line that I put in the balance gear. After that, I keep tapping in the crankshaft until the gears just barely don't mesh with the camshaft. I then turn the camshaft so that primary timing mark, that dot, is lined up with the primary timing mark on the crankshaft. Then I tap the crankshaft fully into place. Now I need to install the lower balance gear onto the stub shaft. First I add a little bit of engine oil, and then I want to turn the crankshaft uh, in such a way so I can align the secondary timing mark on the lower balance gear with the secondary timing mark on the crankshaft. Now remember the secondary timing mark on the balance gear is that little dot and that secondary timing mark on the crankshaft is the little line that's furthest away from the crankshaft gears. After you install everything, uh, check the timing 
of all the gears. So the primary timing mark on the crankshaft should align with the secondary timing mark on the lower balance gear. The primary timing mark of the crankshaft should align with the timing mark on the camshaft. And finally, the primary timing mark on the crankshaft should align with the primary timing mark on the upper balance gear. If all of that is good, you have successfully reinstalled the balance gears. If something is misaligned, well, you're going to have to take it out and do it again. Now, a uh, quick tip, it is easiest to install the balance gears on your engine with the engine upside down. In this video, I put the engine in an engine stand and flipped it upside down. Uh, if you don't have an engine stand, you can just put it upside down uh, on your workbench. That way you can reach your hand in through the oil pan side and uh, gain access to everything. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you need parts for your old Kohler K-Series engines, please look us up online at isavetractors.com. We also have uh, shim kits available for the balance gears. So if the end play on your balance gears are not correct and you need to correct it, please give us a call, uh, isavetractors.com. We also sell tons of other parts for these old engines, including complete full-blown rebuild kits that include pistons, connecting rods, ignition components, gaskets, valves, carburetors, literally everything for your old cast iron single-cylinder Kohler K-Series engine. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.